People have to be held accountable. People, People have to be held accountable. Uh, I've got Miss Mandy here with me. Welcome, Miss Mandy. Hey. And thank you so much for agreeing to uh, to come on with a view to kind of getting some of this stuff sorted out. Um, Absolutely. So, so just for anybody who's watching who doesn't know the background or whatever about yourself and uh, Adam, because I suppose a lot of this, most of this kind of stems from all of that. Can you, and actually, yeah, that, that's a really good point. Sorry, real quick. Um, for everybody in the side chat, I just ask everybody, you know, I'm okay with people sharing their views and everything, but just be respectful uh, in doing so, if you wouldn't mind. And uh, for mods and stuff, if somebody disagrees with you or whatever, don't time anybody out. Just ignore things that you don't like, basically. So anyway, if you wanted to... I just wanted to give you an opportunity to give a brief bit of uh, background and stuff like that, if you'd like to, to kind of explain your connection to everything and, and how this all came about. Okay. I'm not sure how, how all this drama and not everything came about, um, but uh, we uh, met in this community, um, and um, I was a producer content creator um and he was a you know medium-sized content creator uh we met a while back um and uh started dating and um uh dated for a while broke up uh, a couple months ago um and that's that's our we we, we had an internet relationship we never met in person or anything like that Okay, so, and then um, obviously with everything that happened when, you know, the when he ended up in hospital and, and subsequently passed away, and then following that, that's where all of this stuff started coming out from. Um, like, I obviously had known that you guys were in some kind of a relationship, but I wasn't, you know, too involved in anything or or didn't have any prior knowledge of it, really, just like, a like I knew it, I knew it was going on, but... I didn't know how deep it was or whatever that was, you know, between yourselves or whatever. Right. Um, so that brings us to to some of the things that have been kind of coming out over the past couple of weeks. Um, stuff that I've been sent, stuff that you'd been sent, um, comments about particular things that happened or didn't happen. And, you know, obviously I've presented my side of it already. You've presented what you responded to the other night. And now it's kind of like, this is the opportunity to actually talk about these individual things in, you know, in a calm way and just to explain what's right and what's not, because I think people need to know. I think it's only fair. Yeah, but, um, uh, I do want to say I'm, I'm very sorry um, for what happened in, in Discord the other night. I got upset. Um, I haven't been sleeping well um, because of everything. And I, I, I let my emotions get to me. I, I, yeah, I, I do that too. You know, I, I, I go off the handle as well. Like it, it happens. It's, uh, I'm kind of known for it at times. But um, so anyway, to, I suppose, to kick things off, um, there's a, a few different screenshots and stuff that I've been given over the past couple of weeks and have kind of verified and all the rest of it. And there's, there's a little bit to go through, but I suppose we'll start off one of the, the ones that came up. Um, that I found to be actually when I first saw it, it didn't really strike me as problematic at all. And then when I actually went out to see him, that's when I was kind of thinking about, hold on a sec. I didn't see the evidence of this at the time. And then obviously his mom had said some stuff about it last night. Um, I'll bring it up on the screen now. Um, so it's this one here. So I was sent these screenshots of messages from you. So, I think the bottom one is the older one and the second one is the, the follow-up message. So that one says, Adam is in brain surgery right now. Okay. And then yeah, the follow-up was, it went well and he's showing better brain activity. So can you explain where that came from? Absolutely, yes. Um, and I have uh, a couple of screenshots to go with this, I think. Um, and I couldn't sure. get logged into my Facebook Messenger on this computer, I'm sorry. But um, I had talked to his sister who said that um, he was having surgery to relieve um, some pressure um, on the brain. But 
that I I took I took that and ran with it. So that is on me completely. Um, I I called that brain surgery, and that was wrong of me to call that brain surgery. And so, um, like you're you're welcome to to share anything that you feel you know backs anything up or whatever. Sure. She called it going into, um, we got to go into surgery. She called it something different than that. Um, ready for you to pull oh, yeah. up. I see it, Dana. <clears throat> I think that's it. Forgive me if they're out of order. It's a little bit small. Um, oh, here, let me see if I can zoom in. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Maybe that will help a little. Nope, it didn't. Okay. No? Okay. Sorry. Um, can, is it, does that help or no? Um, I, I actually can't really see them. It's a bit... Actually, hold on. I might be able to make it large on, Sorry. This, on my screen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So are these in order or... Um, from left to right. The, the right one's not supposed to be there. Um. Oh, the far right one. That's okay. Um, and so, wh where's where are we looking at here? Far left. Um, next twenty four hours will be critical um, to see if he pulls through. But he's very ill. Um, I think she called it going into. Um, I wish I could remember what what they call it over there. It wasn't going into surgery, but um, um, so. And, I missed the call oh, from her. She asked if she could call, and said yes. And I and we spoke. Um, and that's where she explained that he was on a ventilator. Uh, so it said there he has a lot of his bowel removed. So if he does pull through, then he'll be in hospital for a long time. He's currently on a vent ventilator, and will be for some time. Uh, thank you for your prayers. Um. So, so did she call you at this point? Uh, she did. I missed her call, um, and I called her back. Um, it's just I'm not seeing the return call there anywhere. Um, I, I don't know what to say. Um, we 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 talked for. Um, I I don't know how long we talked for a while about 45 minutes or so where she explained everything that was going on. Um, at that point, she told me that it was an overdose, not to tell anyone that it was an overdose. Uh, I did tell you in confidence that it was an overdose. I think the family shared with you that you could, yeah. you could share that. Um, That's right. Uh, he went um, back to surgery yesterday, which went well. He's still on life support, but at this time he's stable. So no more updates. He's still stable. So sorry, this is still so I guess, very, very difficult to read. No, of course. No, I, I exactly, I totally understand. So I guess the the phone call, the return phone call, not being there, kind of raises questions. There, I just can't get into my into my Facebook Messenger. I'm sorry. I tried to log in too many times, and it says that I'm locked out now. <laughs> Um, 24 so hours. just just to kind of to look at that a little bit. So, oh, sorry, I'll just, log back into it. My bad. I know you're all good. Um, I'll, I'm just going to bring up uh, her. So his mom's message that says, uh, "Hi, Manny. This and we'll refer back to this a couple of times, and you can let us know, you know, what you think on that." Uh, this is Adam's mom, Lynn. Even though this is an extremely upsetting time for me and my family, you leave no option but to ask some questions. Could you tell me when we invited you to come to the hospital and then uninvited you? Because I cannot recall 
uh, having any such conversation. We'll get to all that here in a minute. So number two there was there was no time when Adam was in hospital that he was having brain surgery. And right, that, um, that was that was wrong to speak up on my part to say that. Okay. And as for um, my conversation with her yesterday, she said that the only conversation between all of you had been mostly with his sister and all and through yeah. text. No, it wasn't all through text. We had two conversations uh, on, on, on voice. So um, could you just share up, your one there again, if you don't mind? Let me um, pull it up here and see if I can show you the return phone call. Sure, sure. Um, it was a video chat. Can you see where we had a video chat right there? There's her name. Um, There's yeah. the video chat. And was it how many minutes? 19 minutes, is that? Yes, it is. Oh, cool. Alrighty. Yeah, that's grand. Um, okay. So are you saying it was during that video chat that she said about the brain surgery or what, what you took to be to brain release surgery? Pressure. Yeah, and I, I that's on me that I that I took that and, and ran with that, and I am sorry. Okay. I know, but that's fair enough. And that, that's what this is all for, so that we can get to the bottom of everything and and um, get that all kind of squared away. And um, I haven't gotten that message from Linda. I don't have any message from Linda. I do have a message from his sister, and I got a message directly from Adam's account. But... Yeah, so the message from his account was from his mom. Um, oh, okay. Uh, all right, so... I'm just trying to remember which one is which. Um, okay, so this one here, um, so this conversation, it says, uh, be sure I would have been there holding his hand when he passed. They asked me to come. So who asked you to come? I don't remember saying that, but apparently I did. And... Um, so the response was, did they really? That's so sweet of them. And then you said that you were together for two years and that you didn't have a passport. My passport is expired. I have one. It's just expired. Gotcha. And then uh, they said that sucks. The only thing holding him back was paper. And then that's fine. So that was the first one. And then for some reason, these are saved out of order, but I'll uh, I'll get back to where I need to be. I suppose I'll just kind of figure it out as I go here. But one of them, um, you had said to another person that you'd spent your last couple of bucks on a plane ticket to get out of there. Sorry, to get out there. Um, oh, actually, sorry, yeah, this was the second part. This was the second part here. So it says, that's terrible. Did his fam try to help you get a passport? They sounded pretty supportive. Um, no, they were really poor. So did you did you approach? I meant to about? say R. I, I meant to say R, because they are. Okay, and so I uh, sorry you said so. Did you approach them about a passport or anything, or is that just you you were telling that person that? Uh, no, they are really poor. They 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 are. They don't have a lot of money. They live, you know, in a single wide in a. No, but I guess what I'm asking home. is, um, I guess what I'm asking is, had you approached them about getting a passport or anything? No. no okay. Reason. Okay. No, that's, I was just clearing up because I wasn't sure whether that person was asked, sorry, whether the response was that you didn't ask them or that they couldn't because they didn't have the money. That That's the only thing I was trying to find out that. Um, so then this is, this part is quite important. So it says, at least you realize you couldn't go before you booked a flight. And then they asked, when did his family turn on you? And you said they never did. And you were saying that, or sorry, the person respond, responded to you saying, you said they are telling me to kill myself. I thought you meant Adam's family. And then you confirmed, you said Shiz's people. Yes. 
And nice. now I understand you mentioned that you didn't want to talk about her because of, well, I'll let you explain it because I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, obviously. So I really can't talk about it for legal reasons. Okay. Um, okay. I think this was the next one. All right. So, um, so somebody messaged you saying, I've been thinking of you today. I hope your flight goes smoothly. What flight would that have been? That was on the 18th of January. Yeah, I've been looking for this conversation. I can't find this conversation, oddly enough. And why would I, I book a flight is... if my passport is expired? I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't I mean, make much sense. I think a lot of people have sent us stuff back and forth that are both altered. So do you, are you suggesting that this is altered? I'm just saying, I think... People have sent us both things that are altered and thrown. So together this one, and... this one came directly from the person. Um, I, I'm, I certainly sure didn't. Did. But, but if that's the case, that would indicate that this person has what was the one that actually altered it. I, I can't find this conversation at all. Okay, so when I saw the screen share of this conversation live on discord that's not i don't see a way that that could be altered now it might be a case that you you just can't find it on your end like if you were to go into discord right now and look up this person would you be able to find it i i couldn't find where i've had a private conversation with this person i remember i've talked to her live in in chats many times like yeah she mentioned that actually yeah live live streams many times so the the response here says the family just told me I was not to come. And yeah. then they said, what the fuck? And then you said, I'm just absolutely crushed. And then the response is, this is not right. He needs people who care about him. I don't understand how they could deny him this. And then the response is, I don't know. They told me I am the ex. I shouldn't be there, but they will keep me updated. And then we've only been broken all up that, two weeks. That's all true. Two weeks is not accurate. So this would have been back on the 18th of January. So that would have put the breakup date at about kind of the first week of January. No, it was more like September. September. October. Like okay. And so, so what is your contention on this then? Do you think this is fake or altered or whatever? All I'm saying is I can't find this conversation. Okay. And do you have any recollection of the conversation or? No. Okay. Um, I think right, she's a sweet person. Uh, I want to talk to her, but. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. So. Uh, so again, this was on the 15th, um, said, I'm sorry, your stream. I'm sorry. I missed your stream. It was 4am here. I was still sleeping. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with you and Adam, but have you heard from him, uh, in the last day or so he made a post on discord that seemed to hint at maybe being in a suicidal headspace. Then you said, I can't get a hold of him either. I have tried. Several people have reached out to me. She said, okay, thanks. Uh, I'll keep trying. How are you doing? i uh, sorry. Are you doing, hope you're doing well. And then on the 16th, Can you slow down? Uh, I'm sorry, just slow down. Oh, sorry, my apologies. So on the 16th, it shows you here saying they are pulling him off life support. That doesn't even make any sense for me to say. Well, did, did you say it or? Well, if I don't remember the conversation, Demon, <laughs> why would I? No, I know, but that? like if you, if you think back to the 16th. You know, that was just three 16th. days. 16th of January, yeah. That, no. So are like, we talking, this is fake or this is... I'm telling you, I don't... Like, would you be willing in the interest of... And you can say no if you want to, I can't force you. But would you be willing in the interest of transparency to go on your discord right now and look for this person's name and private chats and see if you can find it. 
I want to bury this. That's what I want to do. And and this is the way for like if we can find the receipts from your end because from everything I've seen and and I am thorough um everything I've seen is that this is absolutely a real conversation. Okay. Well, I don't have any record of it. So are, are you able to get into your Discord right now and search it? I'm not pulling my Discord up on No, you don't stream. have to pull it on the screen, but if you go on and... Because and I don't want to pull up other messages. Let me see. So, like, so can I just ask, oh, like, prior oh, oh, to... Oh, oh, sorry, my apologies. I, I was just going to say prior to January the 15th, 2024, other than voice calls, have you ever had contact with this person or? Yeah, we've talked in, in his stream a bunch of times. But what about on Discord or whatever? Private chats? I don't yeah. have any record of a private chat with her. Okay. So if you search it on Discord, let me you're not going to, yeah. Again. Is the, the first uh message here was from the 23rd of the 10th 2023 and the the person in the side chat there just said that uh, she's Australian as well, so it's Australian time on her messages. Like, I'm pretty sure, and I don't want to throw anything out there, but I'm pretty sure this was his current girlfriend, if I'm... His which? If I'm correct. This was his current girlfriend, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I haven't just, got a clue, honestly. So I do have a conversation with her. Okay, good. And I searched for this before the stream and I could not find it. Ah, uh, that's all. I'm like, personally, I'm useless with Discord. So I, I definitely feel that. I just, I remember this being live scrolled in, in calls and stuff like that. That's how I know, as far as I could see that it was real. But I understand if you couldn't find it. But have you been able to find it now or? Yes, I've got it. I'm I'm not okay. pulling it up, however. Oh no, no, that's um, okay. That's okay. Um, but you accept that the what I'm showing you here is is legit. Uh, uh, apparently. Okay, cool. So and the, and because this was a big thing, the whole life support side of things. So where did that come from? Well, his sister told me in that call that they were debating, um, doing that. And um, they were uh, discussing that as an option, pulling him off life support. She did not say they were doing it. She did say okay. they were discussing it as an option. Because so, now, just just to clarify for anybody who doesn't know, you know how it all works and stuff. I'm not in the UK, obviously. I'm in Ireland, but in the United Kingdom, the family doesn't really the family doesn't have a say. It's the that. doctors that make those decisions. And that's why I'm kind of confused about why they would be discussing it. Well, obviously, you know, it could come up in conversation, but as for them having the power to actually talk about, you know, being the ones to make a decision to pull the plug or whatever, that's not how it works in the UK. It also is not how it works here in Ireland. I know in the States, it's obviously a bit different. Um, 
But in any event, um, she, so you're she saying did that say they was, were discussing that as an option. So um, when you say that, can I can I just ask for clarification on that? Do you mean that like it was one of many options like that? So just to give an example, yes. if, if she was to say something like, uh, you know, they're saying he might get better. They're saying he might need, you know, long term care. They're saying he might need to stay on life support. They're saying I mean, he might have to be taken off life support. So like just in, in like that kind of a scenario where they give. I don't know, to be honest. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So following from that, um, the next message was from you saying, so this morning his kidneys have shut completely down, which I can confirm was absolutely true. So if he were to make it, which that's not likely, he would have to be on dialysis for the rest of his life. And that, that may well be true. I, I spoke to them at that same time and, and that was much the same information that I had that they just didn't know how he was going to be following, you know, the surgeries and stuff. Um, and then uh, she, she said, that's awful. I really hope they try to save him. Now, this is the part that I know that Adam's mom particularly took offense to. And Can and I ask was, you a question? Of course, of course. Why did you take this drama to the family during this really I didn't, bad time? I didn't. I didn't actually take it to the family. Who, who took it to the family then? Because it was just me and I, you that had contact with them. Yeah, but everybody was aware of everything that was going on. So, for example, I was sent this screenshot. So, yeah. obviously, you had been talking to people about his situation, and a lot of people took issue with what was going on. Mm -hmm. And it was brought to me, mm -hmm. and it was his mom called me about it. I And there's a lot of people who confirmed this in the side chat who I've been speaking to can confirm that I wanted to keep this as far away from his family as possible. So last night was the first conversation I ever had with his mother about all of this. I didn't even know she was aware. She actually was more aware than I had known. So I didn't bring it to them. They contacted me about it. They never contacted me about it before last night. I, I can't speak to that. I don't have any, you know what I mean? I don't know what any of that was about, but any, any in any event, um, mm. they're aware Skipping of it. Skipping right anyway. past that drama I mean, part, huh? Let's just keep it civil now, okay? I'm trying to answer your oh, questions. I'm, I'm too. keeping I just, it civil. I just take, think that's horrible. Point. I I've directly explained to you exactly how it worked. You obviously have a different view of it. You can take what I say as truth or not. That's fine by me. Directly you asked me a question. What, how what worked? I'm sorry. I, I literally just told you I don't know the ins okay. and outs of how they got all the information. That's it's as simple as that. I don't okay. know. And all I can tell you is that I was contacted by his mom last night. We had a lengthy discussion about it. She had a lot of questions and she had a lot of comments. And that's that's all I can tell you. Okay. Honestly, so there's no deflecting. I'm not trying to skip past anything. And in fairness, I was already asking you this question before you asked me about that. But I still answered it and that's the answer I have for you. And it's up to yourself if you want to accept it. I totally get that. Okay. So just back to the life support thing. Um, so Shisha said, that's awful. I really hope they try to save him. And then you responded, honestly, I do too. But his mom is pushing to pull him off life support. So if you could just explain that part to us. Okay. Sister said that um, his mom was his full-time carer. And this was going to be um, a large burden on her as she was fully disabled herself. And um, that uh, it was going to be a tough decision to her for her. Um, and that it was going to be a, just a very hard hard thing to decide to keep him on life support and ultimately they did pull him on life support well can i ask where you got that information from that last bit that you just said i don't i i honestly don't remember this conversation so i'm i'm, I'm really muddling my no, way through it I'm, I'm sorry what i meant was what you just said like right now that ultimately they pulled him off life support where did that information come from 
Well, like you said, you've been told lots of things in the community. So have I, my friends. Okay. Family. It, that doesn't make it true, obviously. That's why we're, we're here. I'm just wondering where you heard her from. So you're saying um, it's not true? I never said that. I'm just, I'm only asking you where you heard it from. That's all. And, and just the thing that's still confusing me about that conversation is, well, first of all, I was told directly by the family that that conversation in the way you're describing it didn't happen, that there was no conversation about life support other than he's on life support and that he might require it for longer. The other thing that confuses me about that conversation is that in the United Kingdom, the family don't have a decision about whether or not to pull somebody off life support. That solely rests with the doctors. And then the family can fight it and take it to court. But it's not a decision that the family have. The family can't just turn around and say, okay, switch it off. The family does it, but Adam does, right? Not if he's incapacitated. No, he does not. So they didn't talk to him about it? Didn't talk to who about it? Adam. While he was on life support? Yeah. How do you talk to somebody who's on life support? Because he was awake for a while. He wasn't on life support when he was awake. Can, can I ask you, do you have some information that I don't? Like, for example, do you have information that he um, told them that he wanted to be taken off life support? I heard that, yes. And can I ask can you? Can I show you a point? screenshot? No. Absolutely. You can show me whatever you'd like. I said, can I? No. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I thought you were asking me if you could. My apologies. No, no, I just no, misunderstood no. what you're saying. Um, so so that still, even though you, you say, let's say for argument's sake, I'm not saying that he did or didn't. But let's say he did say that, right? Whilst in a coma somehow. Um, no, not, not in while, a coma. Okay, while he, well, was then awake. he was awake. Come on. Okay. Even while he was, in a, while he was awake. All right. That's not what you said here, though. What you said is his mom is pushing to pull him off life support. And not to mention back on the 16th of January, he was still in a coma. Like they, completely they in slowly, a coma. They slowly pulled him off on the 16th. No, they lowered his medication to see how he'd react, but he hadn't woken up and wasn't verbal until the day I was there. Or a couple of days before I was there. So certainly not on the 16th. He was completely in a coma on the 16th still. And the 15th, it, since it happened, basically. So he, there was absolutely no way that he could have told them this on that day. It happened So I on... think whatever information you were given was incorrect. Because it physically wouldn't be possible. Okay. So let, let's just confirm. So what day, what day did he, what day did he go into hospital can you recall I'm, I'm really bad with dates i think it was the 15th okay so if he was in a coma on the 15th then he definitely was in a coma on the 16th at the very least because he didn't wake up for weeks okay um and so uh, can you just show your screenshot again if you'd be so kind the the one about where you had the conversation with his sister oh sorry i think you showed it on your phone the the time and date of that the video chat was on the 15th. Um, I'll just bring it up big screen there so I can see. Sorry. Um, so it was on the 15th of 4 51 p.m. your time. Yes. Okay. And so the time on the um on the chat here. So from the original, sorry, the previous one. Oh, you can put it down if you like. So it's four thirty. Uh, sorry, four. Sorry, what was the time? I can't see it properly there. Um, let me see. Four fifty-one p.m. On the fifteenth. Yes. Okay, and that call lasted for how long? Did you say? Uh, thirteen minutes. I'm sorry, eighteen minutes. And so the messages here, so this shows as 9.16 p.m. on the 16th, so it would be the following day. Uh, the time difference, what time is it where you are now? It's just coming up to 4 o'clock. Um, yeah, three minutes before 4. Let me just check. So well, I don't know what part of Australia um, Shisha's in, but 
we'll say east coast most likely um just to get an idea of what the the time difference is so it's uh 8 a.m there and what time is it where you are did you say 4 p.m so what's the time difference there mathematic geniuses help me out here in the side chat Perfect man for it. PhD Tony is literally a mathematics genius. That was ultimate time in there. Um, what's the time difference? Between, so I can't even remember what state you're in. That's why I'm confused at the, the times. It's, so it's four there. So if it's four o'clock there and it's eight o'clock there, that's a difference of so eight, 16 hours. So the time that you had that phone call was, what was it again, did you say? Um, 4.51, yeah. So let's call it, for argument's sake, let's call it 5 p.m. Add 16 hours to that. It brings you to, let me see, 5 a.m. Uh, will be 12 hours. And another four hours will bring it up to about 9 a.m. Um, her time. So from the time that you called, sorry, that, that she called you to now was about roughly 12 hours. Just so that we can clarify for everybody what the kind of time frame was um so it's the okay. 16th so, for her yeah yeah so it would have been the the evening of the 16th for her um okay so that's the first part of that so they're they're pulling him off life support and so then you were saying about that his mom is pushing to pull him off life support then she responded dialysis would suck but it's better than death I, can understand, I can't understand how his mom would want to do that. My kids are my entire world, and I would fight with everything I have to save them. And then your response was, I agree with you completely, but she said his quality of life would be bad and that he would be in worse pain than he already is and that she doesn't think he could handle it. Um, and then you said, when I get to the hospital, they're going to call and put the phone on speaker. W which hospital was that that you were going to? They wouldn't oh, I think release you were the hospital. There. Oh, I'm sorry. They wouldn't release the hospital to me. Okay. So when you said, when I get to the hospital, they're going to call and put the phone on speaker? I don't Which hospital? No, but I mean, I... Why, sorry, why I was confused about this was I was trying to figure out if what you meant was that you wouldn't be able to go to the hospital, so they put the phone on speaker um and let me talk to him he's showing brain activity so they think he can hear what they're saying so hopefully he'll hear me so on the 16th i don't believe he had had a brain scan yet okay, i think I that was if i'm not mistaken it was like the day after or the day after that even so where did the information about the brain activity come from um i don't know anything about that but you said it in I showed the previous screenshot where you said that um sorry I'll just move us around a little bit there so he is showing brain activity so they think he can hear what they're saying so hopefully you'll hear me okay so that again though that was um so 11 p.m. on the 16th with a 16-hour difference. So he took ill on the 15th, morning of the 15th, correct? Right. Uh, like I said, I don't even remember this conversation. So I, I've had so many conversations with so many people about so I, many I have things. no doubt. I am the same. As I I'm sure no you doubt. have? Oh, 100%. Absolutely. However, I think something as important as the brain surgery brain activity thing would stick out my mind to be honest well um, I told you like about i just want surgery thing right. i get that but we're so we've we've addressed that side of it but the brain activity side um because that's a pretty succinct statement he's showing brain activity so they think he can hear what they're saying right. she's, so she's, hopefully she's hear me. right and they said that you know, he had had something like 30 meters of necrotic bowel removed or something like that. Brain activity was fine. Um, okay. I'm really muddling my way through a conversation I don't remember having, so. That's all right. That's all right. It's a good thing we have the screenshots that might jog your memory a little bit. 
Um, she you says, I really hope they don't take him off. Okay. Uh, I really hope they don't take him off life support. And then you said, I'm pretty sure they're going to. Yes. And can I ask what that was based on? or Based on the, how bad he seemed to be. He was that they ventilated. Take him off life support? Yeah. He was ventilated. He had um, already been in... Um, in surgery for removing bowel, that much bowel, uh, kidneys were bad. Um, it, it sounded um, really bad to me. So I suppose um, that kind of brings back to what his mom said about from her side of it. So she said, why would you say that I, his mom, was pushing to turn off his life support? Did I or the hospital tell you that? No. Um, yeah. So you're saying that his sister said that? No, I already, I've already responded I thought, to this. No, about the life support, you just said that she said it in the phone call, no? No, I said that his sister said that his, um, that that was an option they were looking at. See, I, what I would say about that though, right, is it's a big jump from this is an option because, of course, that might happen that somebody needs to be pulled off life support. It seems like a bit of a jump from this is an option to I'm pretty sure they're going to pull him off life support. And even worse, that his mom was pushing to get him pulled off life support. It just it just seems like a massive jump from this could happen or it could be one of the options to this is something that I, as clearly it would appear here, an authority on this subject and saying is is true. You like an authority on the subject of life support? No, you an authority of the subject of the evident conversation about life support, because you've said here to add to it, and this is, and I'm going to ask you about this one now, it says they keep saying uh, that's what they're leaning towards over and over and over, like they're looking for my support and I'm not giving it. So they keep saying would indicate that this is something that's been said more than once and literally following that over and over and over. So did that happen in that one 13 minute conversation or? It was said once in that conversation that this was an option they were leaning towards. I, I, sure. I, and so I don't know how many uh, times to say that. No, no, I, I get what you've said. Well, then I need to challenge what you said because literally your words here are, they keep saying that that's what they're leaning to towards and over and over and over again. So that to me would indicate that they must have said it more than once. Okay. And and like, just, just so you're fully aware, like I'm, I'm obviously a good friend now of his sister and everything. So if I was to ask okay. her, do you, do you know what I mean? Like, do you think that she would, would agree that this is what was said? I'm not going to, I'm not I, going I to call sure her. I sure hope so. Today. Like they have enough on their plate. I'm not going to call her about it, but I'm just asking like, what you meant by they keep saying it and that they've said it over and over and over again they as well as the other side that like no i've only spoke to his his sister uh now i've spoke to his mom many times just not about this subject yeah yeah and she confirmed that too um so i guess the the question is still out there they keep saying would indicate you know that it, this is something that they've said multiple times and the over and over and over really drives that home and that's why i'm wondering did she say it multiple times during that conversation or and i've answered that i, I respectfully you haven't though they unless i missed something I, i'm sorry they indicated that this was an option that they were looking at because I, yeah, of his absolutely. quality of life Sure, sure. But that doesn't answer why you said they keep saying it and over and over and over like they're looking for your support and you're not giving it. I don't know what's confusing about my statement here. Well, the fact that you're you're telling me that she said it once. OK, and that's fine. So she said it to you during the call that this is an option. That's totally fine. I accept that if that's what you're saying. Um, whether I believe it or not is, is immaterial. That's what you've stated as fact. 
but also here in the message you're saying that she said it over or they said it sorry they keep saying that that's what they're leaning towards over and over and over again so what your words are here indicates that you're you're telling this person that the they have told you this multiple times as if they're trying to push for it because you said that his mom's pushing for it and then you said they keep saying it over and over and over again so that would indicate that there's multiple times that this has been said or that this is something that's been pushed did you feel like it was something that was being pushed i feel like it was something that they were strongly considering even though they don't have a choice just to clarify they, that they did not tell me that they did not have a choice but not that they right. had to tell me but right and and i suppose so yeah I, I guess basically it's just leaving that question out there why did you say that they keep saying it over and over and over again if you've just said that they just said it once do you get me it's just the it's an okay yeah they just said it once okay so right. yeah we've established that but why did you say that they keep saying it over and over and over again? Demon, I don't even remember this conversation. I don't know how many times to kind of say that, though. No, no, but I'm saying you you remember specifically that she said it once during that 13-minute yes, call. Yes, I do. Sure. And and so you accept that that's, is that the only time that you've talked to her about it? About the uh, life support. Right. Yes. During that 13-minute call. Yes. Okay, perfect. We've established that. That's fine. The problem still remains that here it looks like you're trying to tell this person that his family were pushing for it over and over and over again, which to me would indicate that you heard it multiple times from the same person. I'm, I'm aware of what you're saying. Okay. But Are you, you just aware of what I'm to... saying that I don't remember this conversation at all? So sure, sure. It's hard for but me I to suppose... agree to something. That fair I can't enough. even find the record of? Yeah, fair enough. But I thought you just said that you did find the record of it. I found a record that I've spoke to her. I'm sorry, but a minute ago I found I a record you, of this conversation. I, I asked you that haven't a minute even, ago and you said you haven't, did. I said I found a record that I've spoke to her. I haven't had a chance to dig through it to find a record of, of this conversation or not. It should be quick enough if you want to just scroll back to the 16th of January. Remember me telling you that I had a doctor's appointment, so I've only got 20 more minutes. So it, it, well, what you could do, if you want to just do a quick scroll, you'll see it and then you'll have the answer for yourself. All right. Be right back. Do you know what I mean? It'll just put that to bed. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then we can address the rest of it. I'm just trying to find the one about the the phone call. I uh, sorry the sorry the the flight the tickets buying tickets for a flight. Um, I must have forgotten to put that one on my list. But I'll while you're looking for that there, I'll do the same on my end and just try to find the right one. So, just to make sure that I've got all this my This is not facts. the same person. I'm sorry that I found a record for. Her. So no, I don't have a record of speaking with this same person. It's Sheena. I'm sorry. Okay. But can I ask you this then based on that? Because a minute ago you did say, and completely disconnected from the record, that you do recall speaking to this person. Oh, yeah. I've spoke to Shisha several times in, in live chats. And just to clarify as well, a few minutes ago, when you thought that you had found the conversation and I pointed I out a few of your comments. Just I said second. found her. Yeah. 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 That you'd found it. And I pointed out a couple of these questions, these points on this uh, screenshot, you accepted them that they were true, that you did send mm -hmm. those messages. Okay. So no, we can, no, no, so we no, 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 no. <laughs> and not that I okay, sent okay, the messages. Sorry, 
no, that sent the so message. So you guys, that, that, all right, so, sorry, uh, sorry, continue, my apologies. That, that I may know the, the answer, that I may have said that or something like that. Okay. Um, so I suppose the only options there really in, in that respect is that either you just can't find them for whatever reason and it did happen or you can't find them and it didn't happen and that these are fake. They're the only okay. kind of, do you know what I mean? They're the only feasible options that I can see in this scenario. Um, do you believe that these are fake or? I, I can't answer that right now. I, I would really okay. have to, to do some digging, which I, I, I did try to do beforehand. Okay. That's fair enough. Um, I'm going to just find this other screenshot because it was kind of important. Um, just in that same conversation. Can you go about back one? Um, back to where? Up here? No, no. Go back uh, one. Uh, this one? Maybe. No. Um, I'm just going to ask for if the person that sent the screenshot about the flights and spending the last few pennies on the flights, if you could resend that to me, I'd really appreciate it. I can't seem to find it here. I've got, I know I have it somewhere, but um, there was one and I'd rather bring it up on the screen to ask you about it. Um, something yes, about you. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, something about you saying that you'd booked a flight, that you'd spent your last few pennies on it. I wouldn't book a flight. My passport's expired. So why would you say that you did? To to whom? Um, that's what I'm trying to find right now. I'm sure they'll they'll send it to me, uh, if they're watching, of course. Um, but yeah, but something about the last few pennies. Um, it might take me a second here to find it, but I, I'll find that. Um, it's around here somewhere. Is there anything else while you're looking for it? Yeah, you know what? I'll leave that for now. We can come back to that if we have time. Um, so, all right. So anyway, you, you were talking about that house that you were looking at renting. Yes. But Dan never got back with me. Um, I messaged him several times, even though he he claims in his recent live streams that he did get back to me or that they called me and um, I just never answered the phone. I had no reason to not do that. I um, wanted and that place. Did, did you uh, receive any money from Adam? for that no so i got that same screenshot that had a message from him suggesting that he had had sent me money for the place yeah or was at least intending to and that's just why i'm no. at that's all no okay all righty um he wasn't looking so at coming out for years Oh, I, I see. I, I wouldn't have a clue. I, I don't know what you guys were talking about. Um, okay. So just, just one second, please. Sure. Sure. Um, Six minutes. I'm sorry. Okay. I, so you I, know I apologize. Way... I had a pre-scheduled doctor's appointment. Did, did you not do a stream about him moving to the U S with, you know, no stream about him moving to the U S with me or, or no, sorry. He did. I think, I think he did a stream about it. About before. fundraising to Virginia. I can't remember. I just do recall a stream about it. Um, all right, let me just have a quick look. Yeah. See it raised, any... it raised no money. Okay. Um, or if it did, he told me it didn't. Okay. So you're saying he never sent you any money or anything like that? No, I can, okay. I can show. All right. All right. Um, let's have a look here now. So then there was the whole thing about the, the live stream uh, that you set up on his channel after we'd found out that he'd passed. Yes. So we were all asking you to take that down. The reason for that was because did. we didn't want 
I, I know you did. And we didn't want his family to get a notification to say his channel was going live when they knew nothing about it. So it was um, a live that was never going to happen. It was just meant as like sure. a makeshift community post. I got you. But a half an hour before it would go live, they'd get a notification to say that he's going to go live in a half an hour. Um, but any in any event, um, during that time, you took it down and apologized for any hurt that would be caused and everything. And I, I remember saying it to you that I appreciate that. Um, but later you made a claim that he gave you permission to do that. He did. When did he give you permission? Uh, six months or so ago. Okay. And why did you not mention that when when you were being asked about it that time? Why was that relevant? Because everybody was asking you to take it down, and I just feel like it would have been something well, if I you took were it down immediately. Say, no, I know it you was, did, but I, okay. I feel like it would have been something that you could have, you know, maybe said, you know, this is what he wanted or whatever. I, I'm just I, wondering. I did. Like, you know, I did say this is what he wanted. Not at the time you didn't. Or that you had give, gotten permission from him or anything like that. Um, One of the... Okay, I, I absolutely did say this is what he wanted. One of the and other screenshots I had. He had given me admin permissions and that... He wanted me to do a community post, but I didn't have the access to do a community post. So I did that like a makeshift community post and I set it way like days in the future. Gotcha. Uh, can I just ask you as well about your January on uh, stream elements? So you made absolutely nothing in January in super chats or donations or bids or any of that stuff? Well, I just did a couple days in January. Let me take a look. Just wondering because... I just wanted to. Okay, let me take a look. Um, I don't make a lot in stream elements. I do. I have a jump scare, so people like to to jump scare me. So, gotcha. let's see. January first through January thirty-first. Sorry. No, I made absolutely nothing in January. No, nope, that's not okay. true. I got um, two things in January, both on the 13th. Right. Would you like to see? Uh, no, that's okay. That's all right. Um, Do you say they were on the 13th? Um, uh, one on the 13th um, from the Epiphanies. Okay, fair enough. Um. I'm just still trying me, to find um, this. Just for just, sure. I feel like I should feel like I should show. There we go. Epiphanies from Vein. Um, and that's oh the and there's one from January 10th. I'm sorry, Lisa Peters. Okay. Cool. So. Um. I'm struggling to find this, uh, the one about the flight. I don't know where that's gone. I know I had it, but I'm trying to find it here. Um, so do you have absolutely no recollection of telling somebody that you spent your last pennies on a flight that day? Last pennies on a flight? I don't know. I just recalled those words particularly. Um, let me see here now. I think I have it. Do I? God, it's not. Um, I suppose in the meantime, do you have uh, any questions for me? Um, I have one, yeah. Um, Go for it. I asked you for one thing um, mm -hmm. during your rebuttal stream to me, one of many, mm -hmm. to show your PayPal. Why wouldn't you do it? Because it's nobody's business what's in my PayPal. Okay, can, can I pull up a... Uh, a screenshot real quick yeah yeah by all means please do okay um let me let me get it can i just ask is this something we've already talked about or it's not no okay that's fine well sorry 
Give me one quick sec there. You could just let me know whenever you're ready. I'll try to pull it up as quick as I can. Okay, sorry. That's I've got too right. so many tabs open right now. Okay, there we go. All right, um, there's the first one. All right. You got it there? Yeah. All right, might need to get you to zoom in on it there just because my vision isn't great and my screen isn't great. So let's have a look. Sorry, I'm just clearing something else off my own screen here now. Alrighty. You want your Okey dokey. Um, sorry, can you scroll to the? Is is that? The, yeah, you you feel free to read it if you like. Uh, I feel like I'm being used. I've sent you hundreds of dollars, and I feel like uh, you only reply when it's about money. You told me it was money to fix your car, but you said on stream the other night your car is broken. Uh, no, not being used. I just had some issues with money and all this stuff happened. I had to pay some bills is all. Uh, I'm working on getting the car sorted as we speak. Um, okay, I understand now. Thank you for letting me know what happened with that Western Union transfer that I sent, Mr. Um, I thought that was a donation to the channel. No, man, it was for blank. feel like you're taking us for a ride. Promise not. That was mistaken. Um, let me pull up the second one. Please do, yeah. Oh, sorry, was that supposed to be in for me or? Yeah, that's, yeah, that was. Gotcha. To who? Uh, they want to remain anonymous. Gotcha. <clears throat> and did the person who received these messages, that's was right. that the person that sent them to you? Can I just ask that? Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Again, my eyes are terrible, so I'll let you go for No, it was for uh, McOnion, which I don't know what that means. Maybe you do. Oh, I'm afraid I feel like not. you're taking us for a ride. I promise I'm not. Was just mistaken. Dude, I sent mm. you blank. I blanked that out for you, for you, by the way. Oh, you blanked it out for me? That's a lot, you know, uh, what you're doing. Maybe Miss Mandy was right. Right. Oh, so sorry. Can I just cut? So do you, you blanked out the dollar amount for me? Yeah, because it's nobody's business. Okay. All right. Can I just ask you what? What do you think the benefit of sharing that is? I asked you for one thing, and you've asked me for a bunch. Why? Why won't well, you share you, your you, PayPal? Respectfully, you were the one that came out making all the claims. So I asked you to back those up. Why won't you share your PayPal? I already told you. I don't think it's anybody's business. But let all me... this donation money went to sure. your PayPal. Sure. Again, can you just clarify what good bringing that up was? I'm open to did hearing. You you use, can... Did you use any of Adam's money to fix your car and your other bills? No. So can then I why just won't clarify? you show? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll show something, all right? Um, but before I do, so two things you've just said. One of them is that um, you received this from the person who sent it. Or, sorry, you received this directly from the person that I was supposed to have spoken to on those messages. Is that right? No, I misunderstood that question. No, no, no. Oh, okay. That I'm not going to say... Okay. I'm not going to see say who I received it from seems, because unlike be pretty... these people, unlike these other people, I'm sure. not going to out this person. Okay, okay, because that seems to be a common theme that you misunderstand things that you seem to be Look, very confident about. This whole just real, thing real was quick. supposed to be to bury the I'm hatchet. Gonna, absolutely, and you brought this up, so I'm going to respond to it for you. My pleasure. 
Now, you also just said that you blocked out the, the dollar value for my benefit. Yes. Well, I appreciate that. Um, let me get this up myself here because I actually happen to have the exact same screenshots. So I will get those for you. I, I had to have a hard out by 4.30, so I've got like two It'll be minutes. Okay, I will get these up because I think it's only fair. Um, because in fairness, you have brought this uh into evidence. Um all right, let me let me just say this, right? Would you be willing to say what the dollar amount was? No. And that's just to protect me, is it? I'm just trying to not be a douchebag to you because I'm not I'm not a, a, a jerk. I, Okay, what if I told you that those messages to me and from me were actually from my fiance? Okay. So the dollar amount that you blocked out was the word anus. So I'm not really sure what you were trying to prove. What I've proven is that it seems that you will go to no ends to try to make somebody look bad with an attempt to make yourself look good. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't right. know. Let's just be honest with each other, right? And we're going to try to finish this off in a smooth way. I don't want this to be a, a shout match or whatever. I'm not going to shout at you. You said a lot of things. No, no, but I mean, I don't want it to turn out like it did yesterday. That's not what I'm, you know what I mean? I don't want that. You said, that. and that's good. I appreciate that. You said a lot of things over the past few weeks that I've shown evidence of that you say either you don't recall or one minute you do and then you don't, or you like, for example, you couldn't, you couldn't answer about the over and over and over again thing. And that was a big one for everybody because the claim that you were making to these people in messages was that his mom was pushing to have him taken off life support. That's a big deal. And, and as I said to you earlier, if there's a reason, something that we don't know about for you to have said those things, then let us know because all we have nothing to go on other than you saying you don't remember these things. And just uh, like, not only would I have to be lying, but everybody that sent me screenshots would have to be lying. And then to add to that, his sister, and his mom, who, honest to God, two of the sweetest people I've ever met, would also oh, they have definitely to are. They are very, very sweet people. But then you're telling us essentially that they're lying. I'm not saying that they're lying, no. If you want my honest to God belief on this and what exactly I think happened, I think that behind the scenes you were saying all these things. Now, some people might say that you were grifting for money. The thing that led me to think that maybe that was true was, and I, I'm really pissed that I can't find the screenshot, was the one about saying that you were getting a flight out there, that you'd spent your last money on that flight, and then that person hoping, wishing you that you have a good flight, and then you telling them that the family wouldn't allow you to come out there. You never mentioned it to that person. I got person no about, money for this at all. No. I'm not saying that you did. I'm not saying that you did. It's just people. Just... No, I never, I literally didn't. I just said that it seems like you were trying to. No, I got no you know, money for this at all. If I would have gotten one penny, I would have refunded it. It wasn't on me to get money for this. Okay. And so my whole point in this is I it's my view. And and look, I'm not gonna blow my own trumpet here or anything. I've been doing this kind of thing a long time. Spent a lot of time in courts. I know how evidence works. I know how to get to the bottom of things. I've interrogated people before as part of my job. I don't ask you questions. You did that such I don't a know great job pedo busting. I got two of them off the street and locked up. And I, I don't understand why you're trying to deflect. I'm not trying to like what what does my success or lack thereof in in what I've done before have to do with what you have done? The whole point of this is for you to show us maybe what lots happened. of anxiety in this and you know people seem to Maybe I said some dumb shit I shouldn't have said. And for that, I'm very sure. sorry. 
and, and, and that's and all that anybody's asking lack of for. sleep lack of lack of because it has caused food and taking care of myself okay and it's caused a lot of hurt and pain and for that, i'm so so sorry can for i that, ask I'm so you right? sorry and, and i hate for anybody to don't even bring have up to my consider, family if you do i'm that, not I'm going dropping. to i promise you i would never do that right i had nothing to do with all that stuff i'm staying away from it but can you imagine a position that his mother's in right now okay it's it's unimaginable the pain that she's gone through right now yeah I don't. Want and then to have you telling people that she was pushing to have him taken off life support i, I wasn't telling people that she was he was pushing to I swear well, I to God, I don't remember that conversation. I have multiple screenshots of it. You know what I mean? Like you have one screenshot of it, and I have if, screenshots. If, of if, if I said that, time. if I said that, I'm very sorry because but you even, in fairness, you even qualified what you said because when I pushed you on it, you said that oh, his sister did tell me these things, and that's why I said it. I said his sister said that they were looking at that as an option. And I've said that over and over and over. And and I'm now 10 minutes late leaving. I do have to go. But look, I have no ill will towards you at all. I respect you as a content hasn't, creator. It hasn't seemed like that for the past couple of weeks, Mandy. Well, it hasn't seemed like you respect me at all either. Because I don't. Okay, well, thank Under you Under any that. circumstances. I appreciate because that very much. Because look what you've done. And you've come on here and you have lied to everybody again, Mandy. Okay, I have it. You're, call, but, you're calling his mom and sister a liar. No, I'm not. I have said that they're not lying. I have said that they're good, honest people. Well, I've said that they, they don't have much I'm money, sorry. but that they're good, honest people. I don't have much money, <laughs> so I get it. That, the messages that she sent to me outlining where you were wrong and what you said, is she just mistaken about everything? I, I, I explained that the best I could. That's all I know to say. And so this was supposed so what, to be a stream here? to to bury the hatchet. I should have known that I couldn't take you at your word again. So it's, it's, thank this you. isn't a woe is me thing, Mandy. You had every No, it's not at all. I fucked up bad. I don't know what else to say to that. And, and all you all I think people would want you to say at this point, and all I would want you to say at this point is to just come clean. Because we all know, I did man. already. Like, I said I was no, no, sorry no, no, no. and that I, I fucked I, up bad. That I said a well, lot of shit I shouldn't have said. Sure. I appreciate that. But of all the things I've shown you tonight, you had an answer why everything was wrong. And in no, fairness, no, no, I don't no, no, no. Not everything was wrong. No, I shouldn't have said that about the I shouldn't have said that about the brain surgery. I took a lot of freedoms with that, and I shouldn't have said that. And and I I, I took a I took freedoms with, with a lot of things and I shouldn't have done that. And, and I fucked up bad, and I'm sorry. But that's all I can really say at this point. So you're not willing to accept that for whatever reason that may be, and you just gave a few examples. Look, like I, I've, I've apologized sleep. multiple times well, to you, but that. you don't just, want to I, accept that, so I don't really know what to say I, to you at this point. Of course I do, Manny, but I want to get to, I want to get through whatever this barrier is to the full truth. Okay, it's like I'm I've, sorry for this one. I have one to go. I'm going to be late. I have. Can, can I just ask you really quickly? Minutes. Just last thing, I promise. Last thing, just of all the things I said tonight, right, or the vast majority of it, it, it is abundantly clear to everybody that you were lying about these things. Are you willing to accept that you were lying about all these things? No, not all these things. Absolutely not. Not all these things. Most of them, or just the one thing. What what one thing are you talking about? Well, you were saying about the the brain surgery thing. I, I accept that you may have been mistaken. That's totally fine. But the one that still sticks out for everybody, the most painful one for me and for his family, is the one about the coming off the life support. And the fact the one thing that's catching me the most is that you said that they said it over and over and over again. Okay. They did not say it over and over and over again. I just remember one time. Excellent. But why did you say that they had then? And that they were pushing for it and trying to push you to agree to it. I don't remember say saying that? they were pushing me to agree to it. I, I just showed it to you. I know you did, but I don't remember saying it. I'm not going to agree to something that I, I, I don't remember doing. Would you? If I saw the evidence in front of me, I'd accept that I said it. And I would probably, probably try to figure out why I would have okay, said it. I'm going, I'm going to be late. I'm sorry, but you take care. I, 